Let's look at a, an example that involves a hypothesis, one sample hypothesis test regarding um, population proportions instead of mu. It works very similarly. In a sample of 60 teens, 21 reported they had tried marijuana at least once. In this particular region, it is believed that 45% have tried marijuana at least once. Is there evidence to conclude that this figure has gone down? Use alpha equals 0.05. So we state our competing hypotheses, which are that the population proportion of, stu of teens that have tried marijuana is 0.45 compared to we want to determine has it gone down? Is it less than 0.45? Well, we're going to um, decide this way. If the probability of observing a sample pro proportion of 0.35, which is 21 sixtieths, is less than 5% likely uh, from a distribution of proportions centered at 0.45, then we will reject H0. So in our calculations, in other words, if this is P equals 0.45, that is the average value of all the sample proportions, and we experienced something out here of 0.35, if the probability of observing something less than this is, if that's less than or equal to 0.05, then we'll reject null hypothesis. Otherwise, we'll fail to do so. So we want to figure out what the probability is. Well, how do we recenter these values in a bootstrap sample? We know we would be able to subtract the mean and add the mean, um, or subtract each value from the sample mean, and then add the population mean to it. But here it's a little bit different, because these are ones and zeros. So no problem at all. Actually, in our uh, distribution, what we'll do is we'll create a simulation of the popul null hypothesized population distribution. So we're going to create a distribution with center 0.45. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, this is based on um, if, if we had 60 teens and 45% of them had tried marijuana, the question is how many ones and zeros would we have? Well, we would have 60 times 45% of that is going to give us 27 um, yeses. So the yes have tried marijuana out of the total 60 um, who are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 27 ones and then the remainder, which would be 33 zeros. So I actually have a little simple calculator here. We want to we have a, a total sample size of 60, and in the of those 60, 27, um, 27 of them have reported that yes, they have done marijuana. Now this is hypothetically if the 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 sample true sample proportion was 0.45. And I'm going to press my ones and zeros generator, and so that generates a total of 27 ones and then 33 zeros. So we're going to set our sample size to be 60, population size 60. And I'm going to generate my random sample, so you notice that they're all kind of fluctuating around here. And I'm going to probably do 0.05 here since these are proportions. And there's my, pot, there's my distribution of, of pi. Well, notice that my mean of the means is 0.45, so I have centered this thing at about 0.45 as I, as I wanted to in my null hypothesis. Um, so now I'm going to look for, well, what is the probability of observing 0.35 or less? So in other words, what proportion of all of these guys are 0.35 or less? So I'm going to do probability that x is less than or equal to 0.35, and I get 0 0.083. Well, what does that mean? That means that this is actually, this entire area here is 0 0.083, and that means 0 0.05 is actually somewhere, whoops, that's way too big, is somewhere actually out here. So my value isn't actually in the tail region of where I want it. So I would conclude that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. In other words, we do not have sufficient evidence to conclude that it's gone down. Now, even though the sample is lower, um, that seems to be within reason that if in fact the population is 45% uh, of teens have tried it, then it's not unreasonable for in a sample of 60 teens to get only 21 or fewer that um, have tried it before. So we would fail to reject the null hypothesis, and so uh, we just simply cannot conclude that it's gone down based on the sample data is just not strong enough. Um, there's still a, a reasonable chance beyond a reasonable doubt that it's that it's. Uh, uh, that this could very well happen in this distribution.